Welcome to the Wide Orbit Automation for Radio mobile app. The following demonstration is for the iPad. At the bottom of the Playlist widget is a button which toggles between two labels. By default, the button is labeled Add VT. Add VT allows you to insert an empty voice track between two items on the playlist. To add voice tracks to the playlist, press the Add VT microphone button at the bottom of the playlist widget. Adjacent to each unplayed asset in the playlist, a green VT with an arrow pointing up and right will appear. This indicates the inserted voice track will be above the selected item. Select the desired position in the playlist and an empty voice track will appear. To edit and record voice tracks, locate and select the voice track in the playlist you wish to edit. The microphone voice track icon will change to read Edit VT. Press the button to load the voice track into the voice track widget. At the top of the voice track widget, a drop down menu allows you to change the input to the voice tracker. Recording voice tracks in the voice track widget is pretty simple. You're going to use the green button with the white microphone. The process is basically a four button push. Press the green microphone button to start the session and play the last 10 seconds of the pre cut. Press it a second time to start recording your voice track, a third time to start the post cut, and a fourth time to finish. There are three options at the top right of the screen Reset, Cancel, and save. Reset starts the session over without saving but stays in the voice track widget. Cancel takes you back to the playlist widget without saving. And save completes the session, saving the track into the database and exits the voice track widget, returning you to the playlist widget. Following a successful save, a temporary green banner will appear at the bottom of the playlist widget, which will read Successfully Saved Category Cart Number, and the formerly red voice track will now be white to show it was saved. If at any point during the process you want to start over, press the Stop button. When you've finished, you can listen back to your session by pressing the Preview button. To the right of the Preview is the All button. Use this button before you start the session if you want to listen and record over the entire pre-cut. For example, if your voiceover cut is a traffic or weather report that plays over a bed, Press the All button so the bed starts at the beginning and plays all the way through for your session. When you've finished your voice track, you can select the Save option at the top right of the screen which will complete the session, exit the voice track widget, and return you to the playlist widget. Of course, if you'd rather continue recording the voice tracks for the remainder of your shift, you don't have to save every time. You can press the Next button, which will save the current voice track and load the next one from the playlist. Typically, you will next through each voice track for the air shift you're working on and only select Save when you're completely done and have finished your last voice track for your shift. If you're tracking away and decide you really didn't like how the last voice track sounded after all, Use the previous button to take you to the track before, and you can preview and even start over and re record the voice track session. We hope you enjoyed learning about the voice track widget on the Wide Orbit Automation for Radio mobile app for the iPad. If you have any suggestions, questions, or comments, please email us at afrvideos at wideorbit.com.